Hey guys, first and foremost, thank you so much for 10K. You see that we finally reached 10K. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for sharing videos. Thank you for doing all that good stuff. I love you guys. You know what I'm going to say. If you're not already subscribed, click the subscribe link below, pause the video and do so. Also turn on um, your notifications so you know when I'm posting a new video. Okay, now that I got that out the way, a lot of you guys have been asking me for what I eat um, on the keto diet. Um, I've been kind of taking you guys along the journey slowly with me, um, and you guys have been asking what I eat in a day, so I wanted to do a video kind of showing you guys like what I, my meals and you know, all that good stuff. So check it out. This is the Bulletproof coffee that I make every morning. Um, and I'll give you guys options of like different stuff that I put in it depending on how I feel depending on how far into ketosis I am um, So like if I had like a mess up day or like whatever I'll go um, extra hard with the fat the next day. So like adding butter to it adding MCT I add every day, but um, butter coconut oil all different types of stuff to like get the fat in there um, because it's also just hard to get a lot of fat in food um, so I try to load it up with the Bulletproof coffee. Also fills me up for a good amount of time. So yeah, this is it. Get the butter sounds gross but it's actually not too bad okay guys so the first thing I will do is I'll put in a tablespoon and a half of butter um, I know Jiva sometimes do, does too but I kind of just started using butter um, to get more fat into my start of the day um, because I haven't been getting enough fat like through food and bacon and all that kind of stuff so I need to start like loading it up so I'll do a tablespoon and a half of butter first. Eh, can I do this while holding the camera? Yeah. And, hold on, I'm trying to multitask here. So yeah, and I'll just drop it in here like so. And then I will do uh, two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. More fat. You want all the fat you can get. Hold on, this is going to be tough. So a tablespoon and a half. Or two tablespoons. Of, I'm talking about the butter. Okay, two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Then I will do... And ghee is butter too, guys. I just... I'm going to use the stick now. Then I'll do two tablespoons of MCT oil. And I think I'm going to hold off on the coconut oil today. At least until later. So that's what it looks like. It's not the best. And a lot of people, guys, a lot of people blend their coffee. I don't have time to do that, so I just have to take it as it comes. And then what I'm going to do is the butter will melt as I pour it all in. So... And you kind of got to drink it fast or you're going to like notice all of the oil like coming to the top. I don't really care about coffee being good. I'm a black coffee drinker. So yeah, that's it guys. But yeah, so I'm a black coffee drinker so I don't mind like coffee not being as tasty. Um, or just like even, even adding the butter and the heavy whipping cream is kind of like a form of cream. Which I don't even use cream so almost like a treat to me you know also I'm getting dressed to go shoot you guys will see this look soon but yeah wanted to show you guys my bulletproof coffee I will drink this entire cup and then probably be foolish until um, probably until around like 3 so it's 10 it's 10 08 um, and I'm really trying to not snack like I have been snacking on keto and like in this second wave, second month, I'm trying to not snack as much. Um, so I'm trying to fill up and make sure I get all my fat in the times that I do eat and not eat until the next meal time. Um, because I've been watching, <clears throat> I've been watching videos 
and they were saying like you only want to eat when you're actually hungry and when you have to um so yeah i'm naturally a snacker but i'm trying to cut that out so i'm gonna try to fill up on this coffee butter all this fat and then eat again um in a few hours so yeah that's my bulletproof coffee recipe guys um not recipe but what i use um and of course i'll put everything down in the links below for you to you know know exactly what to get or just to have like a grocery list um when you go so yeah peace out okay guys yes it is the same day i just went and got my hair done um i am about to make breakfast i guess um it's 2 26 but it's my first meal of the day so i'm going to do that and then eat again later on um i'm just now starting to get hungry so you guys know I had coffee at like 10 something and I'm just now starting to get hungry. Um, so I'm going to make eggs, bacon, and avocado. I may put kale in it, not sure. Um, but yeah, you guys can see it. Check it out. It's so crazy guys because I never ate bacon like this. Um, but for keto, in order for you to get like the right fat intake, you have to. Um, so now I'm trying to eat at least like four to five slices a day. Um, because I just haven't been getting enough fat. Like we're so trained to not eat fat. So like mentally it's just hard to like really calculate how much fat you're putting into your body. But in order to stay in ketosis, you have to overload on the fat. So your body is like cool. We know that we're going to get a lot of this, so let's burn it and run it, you know, run off of that. So our bodies are typically used to running off glucose and you don't have that anymore. But in order for it, the ketosis to actually work in your body and like burn fat, you have to give it enough fat. So it's really hard. And I like I use an app called Carb Manager um, and I'll show you guys that. But I literally track every single thing I put into my mouth every single day. Um, and it's really helped me see like, yeah, you think you got enough fat, but you really didn't or you had way too much protein So do better the next day like stuff like that. So you guys have to use the app as well I don't like you at all Didn't know that I not. How have I not known that? Again, guys, I am trying to increase my fat intake. So instead of cooking with olive oil and stuff, I've been using coconut oil, ghee, or butter. Um, just to increase the fat intake and because olive oil wasn't enough. Um, so that's what I've been using. And sometimes I even use my MCT oil and put it in there. Um, but today I'm just going to use coconut oil. And I use a lot of cheese because cheese is fatty and you can kind of overload on the cheese on keto. And that's the craziest part about it is because like all the stuff that we think that we're supposed to like cut back on are the things that you actually have to have excess amounts of on this diet. Um, so like you're super full and you're, you know, not missing sugar or carbs because you're eating things that actually satisfy you, that are actually good. thing avocado not I guess this isn't a good one but guess who's still gonna eat it me okay this is the cutest Are you going to slice it? Uh, no, I'm probably going to eat the whole. I'll just slide it off of it.
Oh, it's probably a dramatic bacon. And this is my first meal, guys. This is it. Super easy. Okay, guys, so I'm eating my first meal that I just showed you. And I am obsessed with these. So these are Zevia. I actually did a campaign with them a couple years ago. And I didn't really like it um, because, you know, when you're used to eating sugar or consuming sugar, like if it doesn't have sugar in it, you're like, eh, this is gross. Well, since I haven't had sugar in two months, these are like crack. Like I run through a pack a day. They're sugar-free sodas. They have absolutely nothing in them, zero everything. Um, and it's just a replacement. So this is like the ginger ale version. Um, and I drink at least like two a day, which probably isn't the best thing, but you know, it works for what I'm doing right now. So yeah. It's like I'll be hungry and like make a meal. And then when I make it, I'm like, Cool, I'm not hungry anymore. So, I'm like really full and I haven't finished my food, but I'm trying to force it so that I can stay full longer. I think. I don't know. It's like my eyes are bigger than my stomach. Is that what people say? And drinking this fills me up even more faster. So I'm just gonna kind of take a break. Almost there, not really. Guys, and PS, side note, if you guys have specific questions, so note that I am not like a physician or health professional. This is solely my experience, like, and what my body likes and doesn't like. Um, so, of course, like, if you guys have, like, super specific questions, you know, kind of Google it, find a doctor. Um, but if you have questions about my experience specifically, um, leave them in the comments. I may do, like, a QA and a or, like, something. But literally, it would just be my opinion, my experience. I don't want anybody, like, trying something and then it not work the same on your body. Um, but as of now, I love it for me. Um, so I figured I would share with you guys, but I am not a health professional, so just keep that in mind during all of these keto videos. Okay, so after I eat my first meal, I'll typically take my supplements. I don't like taking them on an empty stomach because you're just asking to throw up. Um, but these two, the floor fly and the hair skin nails are from uh, the all natural shopping club that I shop at. And then these are from Perfect Keto. Um, they're kind of expensive, but I love Perfect Keto stuff. Um, so, yeah. So these are the supplements that I take um, after eating my first meal. Guys, I forgot to show you me cooking this, but this is my final meal of the day. Um, spinach, mushrooms, salmon that I chopped up kind of already. Um, a half of an avocado and some leftover veggies from a meal yesterday. So like asparagus and some shrimp I had. So this is my last meal. Um, after this, I will not be eating until tomorrow morning. Um, and yeah, I haven't really been like snacking or I haven't snacked at all today. Um, so this was a good day, a snack free day, two meals um, and my bulletproof coffee. So that's that. And I don't have my wig on, so you won't see me. Okay, so another thing I forgot to tell you guys is that I have fat bombs in here um, so when I haven't gotten enough fat what I do is make these and I'll give you guys a recipe and maybe I'll do an additional video um, of the recipe and how I make them um, so let me know in the comments if that's what you guys want but I'll make these fat bombs and they help me get more fat intake um, so these are cheesecake fat bombs usually people make them a lot cuter but I just wasn't interested at the time so I just spoon them and freeze them um, and eat those it's kind of like a sweet treat as well so yeah